Today we'll be coming from Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 13 through 16. And it reads as follows, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. If it be the will of God, for a moment, I want to talk about uh, maintaining your saltiness. Maintaining your saltiness. Jesus does a, 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 a good job of, of teaching here, and he's teaching his disciples. He says that you are the salt of the earth, and salt has a distinctive principle. Salt has a distinctive taste to it. If you go into the kitchen and you begin to cook a dish, immediately when you put salt into it, you can tell that, that salt has been added into the dish. If you drop a pinch of salt into it, you can tell that salt has been added to the dish. If you drop a bunch of salt into it, you can tell that a bunch of salt has been added into the dish. And, and Jesus compares us as Christians to salt. He says that we are the salt of the, of the world. But what, what, what purpose have we served if we lose our saltiness? Jesus says that, 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 that we're, we're worth nothing if we lose our saltiness. I'm reminded of Nicodemus in John, the third chapter, and he comes up to Jesus, and he, he talks to Jesus, and he, and he says, Jesus, I've seen all these miracles that you've performed, and, 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 and I'm convinced that, that you've been sent by God. But you see, some of these other Pharisees and Sadducees have been saying that, 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 that you're not the son of God. And, 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 and I want to know what's up. And so Jesus talks to Nicodemus and he says, understand this, Nicodemus. Truthfully, I tell you, unless you be born again, Unless you believe in Christ, unless you be born by the water and born by the Spirit, then, 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 then that crowd that you're running with, all y'all going to hell. Understand that no man can enter the kingdom of God unless he believes in Christ, unless he's been born of the water, unless he's been born of the Spirit. So when, when, when you allow Satan to, to, to con you out of your saltiness. And Nicodemus thought he was doing right. Understand that the Pharisees and Sadducees thought that they were doing right. They were supposed to be the teachers of theology. They were supposed to be the people that had it all together. And so he came up to Jesus. He's supposed to know everything. Jesus said, ain't you a teacher? You know everything, don't you? But I guarantee you if, you, if you, if you allow Satan to con you out of your saltiness, you won't make it to heaven. Jesus said, say, um, and see, one of the other characters in the Bible that I'm reminded of that, that refused to let Satan manipulate him and refused to let Satan sift him out of his saltiness is, is Job. Job lost so much. He lost his wife. He lost his kids. He lost his money. He lost his house. He lost his property. He lost his everything that he had, but he refused to lose his saltiness. You see, Satan wants to manipulate you out of your saltiness. And Jesus said, what good are you if you allow Satan to con you out of your saltiness? A lot of us here on this earth, we, we, we camouflage. You see, lizards and, and frogs and and. and and little creatures, oftentimes, when they see a predator coming, they'll camouflage. They'll, they'll blend in with their surroundings so, that, the, the, so that, 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 that predator can't get them. And so many of us Christians have begun to blend in with our surroundings. We go to work. They say, no Jesus on the job. 
And so we blend in with our surroundings. We go to school. They say no Jesus in the school. And so we blend in with our surroundings. We go out in the community, and they say no Jesus in the community. And so we blend in with the community. God has called us to stand out. Salt has a distinctive principle. Salt cannot be imitated. A lot of us have become Mrs. Dash or imitation salt. We, 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 can, we, can, we can dress up like salt. We can, we, can, we, can, we can act like salt. We can imitate salt. But we've lost our saltiness. Jesus said, what good is salt that has lost its saltiness? If you want to substitute saltiness, you can substitute it for passion for Christ. What good is a Christian that has lost his passion for Christ? What good is a Christian that has lost his passion for Christianity? What good is a Christian that has lost his saltiness? It's no good. It's no good. It's worth nothing but to be thrown out and trampled under the foot of men. Maintain your saltiness as we go into 2011. Because Satan got some attacks set up for you in 2011 that you're not even going to be expecting. But you got to maintain your saltiness. Satan got some stuff set up for you in 2011 that's going to hit you real hard. But you got to maintain your saltiness. Whatever you do, maintain your saltiness. Uh, he says, hey, how can a big old city on a hill be hidden? But that's what it's like when us Christians, when we, when we, when we hide that, 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 that giftedness that God has put in us. If God has, has put a gift of song in your heart, then keep on singing. If God has put a gift of ministry in your heart, then keep on preaching. If God has put a gift of deaconship in your heart, then keep on praying. Whatever you do, don't lose your saltiness. You may lose your, your money, but don't lose your saltiness. You may lose your wife, but don't lose your saltiness. You may lose your husband, but don't lose your saltiness. You may lose your job, but don't lose your saltiness. I don't care if I lose my life, I still won't lose my saltiness. I may lose my sight, but I won't lose my saltiness. God has been too good for me, for me to be a Christian here on earth and lose my saltiness. I'm going to let my light shine wherever I go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Maintain your saltiness. As we go in 2011, yeah, sometimes it get hard, but, but I like what Jesus does. We just see in, in Matthew 5, 13 through 16 is the conclusion. If you go up a little bit, you'll see the Beatitudes. And, 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 and what he says in the Beatitudes, it, it, blessed is the poor in spirit. Blessed are they that mourn. Blessed are, 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 are the pure in heart. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you for my name's sake. You want to know why? Because we going to a place where there'll be no more crying. We going to a place where there'll be no more dying. We going to a place, like my daddy say, where every day will be howdy, howdy, and the Sabbath shall have no end. Don't worry about the, uh, the Sunday school teacher used to say one, two, three. The devil's after me. Four, five, six, he's always throwing sticks. Seven, eight, nine, he misses every time. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. When the devil throws something at you, just laugh it off. Shake it off and remain salty. Maintain your saltiness in 2011. Maintain your saltiness. He gonna throw sticks, but he misses every time. Four, five, six, he keep on throwing sticks. Seven, eight, nine, he misses every time. Hallelujah, 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 amen. Maintain your saltiness as we go into 2011. And God bless you and keep you.